Hello? Hello? Um, we have another caller. I just want to say that I've listened to a lot of nonsense, and if people want to get down to some frank talk about Christianity, then let's do that. If not, then you can go watch Dexter or something like that. Okay, well, go I, ahead, I caller. I have a lot to talk about um, okay. as far as Christianity uh, is concerned. Can we, can we start with your name, sir? Uh, my name is Randall. And welcome, I welcome am Randall. You sound like maybe you play football or something like that. Uh, well, no, I'm a catcher. Oh, okay. Go on. So, um, I love your show. Thank you so much for doing what you do. And I heard that you uh, answer uh, advice questions. Is that what you're doing there, baby? We absolutely um, ad uh, uh, answer those types of questions. Yes, go ahead, Randall. Okay, my first question is how are, um, being friendly here, how's the both of you doing? We're doing very well. We are enjoying our new place here on Vaughan Live. Oh, shit, baby. Was that Dad's cream? It, it, indeed it was, Randall, yes. I, I, gotta, I gotta admit, I know what Dad's cream tastes like, but I think it's a different consistency um, from what you're used to. The old stock, it doesn't yeah, are, you, are you referring perhaps to the old stock? Yeah, well, yeah, it, it is a little bit older than me, yes. Okay. Well, it really goes down the throat nice, doesn't it? It does, but you know what the funny thing is? It always ends up out the ass, right? Ooh. I'm um, uh, buttocks. I'm, I'm going to ask you to, to just remember to tone it down here. This is a I, Christian I I show. I toned it, baby. I said buttocks. Oh, okay. Okay. It was toning. Pardon? So, um, anyway, I have, it, it, it's a religious sexual question. Uh, do you answer that kind of stuff? Yes, I'm not afraid to, to tackle a question like that. Ooh, tackle, baby. You know what? You two look awfully familiar. Were you guys... What did you guys do before the Vorgon? Um, we were on C-band. See, Did you get bands? Well, where we were before, um, we, we, um, we constantly had to jump around, and Oosh. we got tired of it. And when you jumped around, what did you wear? Well, often I wore... Um, I wore um, suits, I wore a shirt and tie, and often I would wear um, like some, torp of s some type of slacks, oh, or slides, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's pretty hot. I'm surprised they banned you from that, just wearing that. Well, we're much happier where we are now. We think it's a better environment for us and for our callers. Ask him if on, uh, right, baby. Oh, just a second, I have a question from Richard. Ask him if oh. on his the man at me. Okay, do you have Firefox, Randall? Um, I'm actually using Firecox um, 9.0. It's, it's much, much bigger. Okay. And it's a lot faster. Um, you know, when, when I use Firecox, I find that, that the plugin feature is pretty orgasmic. What do you think? Is he... Is he hang on, I'm going to turn it down. Is he, putting, is he putting me on? Excuse me? Hello, so. anybody? He's using Firefox. Oh, okay. Yeah, Firefox, pardon pardon me. I, I, with your accent, yeah, I thought I just, you said something different. Anyways, is, at the top of your screen, is there a man looking at Richard? I installed Firefox today a few times, but I'm looking above. I don't see a man yet. Oh, uh, I on think the I'm top left, man, there's Richard and then some man staring at Richard. And we think that, that well, it might be, it might be a little bit... Um, let me tell you something. Homo There's a sapien. lot of men that are staring at Richard. Um, so, 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 Randall, what, what is it that, that you would wish to speak about tonight? Okay, it's, um, it's, it's related to uh, religion in, in a sexual manner. Okay. Uh, um, so, I was having relations um, with my boyfriend, and I'm, I'm a top, I'm not a bottom. Um, do you understand what I'm saying so far? No. I know. No. I know. I'm, I'm not the kind of boy that does missionary. I'm the, I, I, don't, I don't lay in the missionary position. I'm the, old, I'm the one that's on top. Do you, do you know what I'm saying now? He's talking about sex. I think you're talking, uh, yes. Sex. Yeah, I understand, yes. Okay, right. And, and I like to practice, you know, I don't want to get him pregnant. So what I do is I pull out. So, uh, do, you, do you follow me so far? Yes. Kind of like the way um, Russia at one point or the Soviet Union had to pull out of Afghanistan. It was messy. 
It was. Go. Okay, great. So we're on the same track. Yes. And I pulled out. And when my penis, I'm going to use safe words here because I know this is a religious channel, no F sharps and stuff. When I pulled my penis out and I had an explosive um, orgasm, it didn't hit my boyfriend's back at all. Do you, do you follow me? Can you picture this? Sir, I don't think you understand what type of channel this is. It's a religious well, I, I didn't channel get, I didn't where get religious the, people the come yet. to talk about religion, not filth, gays, homo it's sapiens, not. or anything else like that. I'm getting to the religion, baby. Calm down. My God, you got an erection just sitting there. Okay, go on. I'm going to just okay. loosen my tie, though, if, if that's I, okay. I'm getting sweaty listening to Randall Baby Stevens. I can see it. It's, it's just it's hot in here. That's all. And it's getting hot in here, baby. Take off all your clothes. Oh my God, it's getting so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes off. And so he's singing. He's singing. He's he's. Go ahead. I didn't sing. I think you guys got some YouTubes or something over there. So I pulled my um, thick penis with a vein in it out, and I I had a, a, an ejaculation. It was part of love, cause that's what two people who do what they do when they have when they're when they're in love, they pull their penises out. And the ejaculation, it cleared his back. And, and the sprays actually hit the cross that I had on the wall. I mean, it was splashing Jesus Christ's face. Now, I don't know what that means. I, I, I have no idea. So what does this mean um, to you professionals? Sir, I, I, I think that... How, let me ask you a question. You can ask me whatever the f you want. When you saw this happen, you yep. obviously, you took the time to call. If you found that this was perfectly acceptable, you wouldn't have called. So how did you feel when you, when you witnessed this? Did it perhaps drive home, no pun intended, drive home the point that perhaps your chosen lifestyle, sir, is wrong? Um... I'll, I'll be totally honest with you. When the, cum, uh, when the uh, sperm sprays were hit in the face of Jesus Christ, our Savior, the first thing that I thought of was, you know what, Randall, you got to call the Jesus chat line. And you got to ask them, what does it mean when Jesus Christ has uh, clear to white sperm shots um, dripping from his face? Well, first of all, you're, you're, first of all, you were talking about um, our Lord, and when something like that happens, you yes. cannot salvage the cross. What you must do is... It's the, no, 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 no. The, the cross was bronze. It's uh, antimicrobial. Um, it will not rust. I mean, I could perfectly salvage that cross if I put it in the dishwasher. Just if you put it in the dishwasher, be, used, be sure to use Finnish dishwashing detergent. Okay. Uh, Does anyone right, get yes. that one out there? Maybe not. Okay, go, go ahead, Randall. All right, by this time now, the sperm shots on Jesus Christ's face are, are dry, and my boyfriend has left. So now I'm left with dried sperm, Jesus Christ, the Jesus chat line in your wonderful chat room, and yet I still don't have any uh, questions answered. Well, sir, I think that your lifestyle is wrong. It doesn't suit. Does he not realize he's going to hell? You're going, yeah, that's a good point, Richard. I th let's just be blunt. You're going to hell, sir, as oh it stands Oh, my God, now. I should have left it inside of him. No, 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 no. It I is get wrong. It. I it get it. It says in oh the my Neon God, Bible. I didn't fucking think, think of that. Just the act of plowing another man is wrong, Randall. What the hell are you talking about? Why? I was making love, baby. Talking about getting up in them guts. If you choose this style of life. Oh my God, Richard knows. He said I was up in them guts. See, he knows. He, he, he twists on the weekends. Do you know of a man named Frederick H. Mercury? Oh. He used my to wear God. Tight, yes, I do, baby. Tight oh jean my God. shorts. See, I know you. Oh my God. Tight jean shorts, mustache. Oh, he used to hold the mic stand over his head. Oh my God. He used to wear a queen's crown. Just oh, think did. of all the names out there for a band. Mm. I mean, think of every possible name you could call your band, and these four guys chose the name Queen. Now, look what happened to that gentleman. 
died of AIDS. He died of AIDS. That's not a coincidence. Now, what do you oh, think that, will happen, Randall, oh if you God, keep you up? Oh, my God, you guys are so gullible. Let me guess. He's with the same person uh, named uh, Elvis, another hot motherfucker in, le in leather. Oh, could you watch the F-sharps? Uh, I didn't have an F-sharp. I'm afraid we're going to get flagged from this. I I, you know what the good thing about this place Vince is? Vince is going to really... Uh, we told Vince we would not... We would keep this clean. And look what's happened. It's not a flag feature yet. Okay. It's not a fag or a flag feature. So we can just do what we want. Okay. By the way, do you know what the difference is between a homosexual and a faggot? No, I don't. I am a homosexual, okay? I'm thinking right now that you're a fucking faggot because you don't really know how to help me. That's what I'm thinking. Can I'm you gonna, see the difference here? I'm going to pray for you now. I'll tell you what. Pray to the bunghole Jesus because, baby, you need we it. We ask you, O oh Lord, to pray for this homo sapien and may you take the gaiety out of him and turn him into a proper servant who will lay down with a woman and not a gay Amen. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Next time he's ankle up to Jesus, tell him he's We have tried everything with, with you, Randall. We have tried to send you to our homo detox programs. We have, you have tried to lay down with animals. There is nothing that has worked. I don't know what to say to you anymore. Well, maybe you can answer this then. I mean, what the hell? Let, uh, okay, obviously having an orgasm on the face of Jesus Christ on the cross it's is wrong. wrong, right? It's wrong, yes, it's wrong. Then give me a figure in religion, the most acceptable figure in religion that I can have an orgasm on, and I'll do it. Um, Think of one. Just who's, one. Who's the one who betrayed Jesus? Judas. Judas? Is Maybe, he hot? yeah. Would you consider him hot? No, sir, because I'm not of the gaiety. So what maybe. What's his white blood cell count? Well, yeah, that, that's a good question, Richard. What is your white blood cell count these days? I've got a good one. Do you do? Are you sure? My blood, if my white blood cell count was off the fucking Richter, Richter, I wouldn't be here today. That's not of concern to you two. You guys are catering to the concerns of homosexuals and not faggots, right? If you go to a doctor and the man asks you to cough and he is holding you in his hands, it is not proper for him to look you in the eye. I prefer him looking me in the eye as he's looking up at me. Because you've also told me that your doctor has a fireman's calendar on his wall and that's not appropriate either. There's a lot of hoses on that calendar too. Oh my God, you're making me go upstairs to look at my calendar again. I will, I will fight through this like, like, like MMA. Do you wear a zipper or a button fly? Um, I, it's a zipper. Are you sure about that? Let me see. Well, I wear, I wear Lee jeans. Can I see? Come on, stand up. Amy. Show the chat room what style's all about. Chat room, if you guys are into religion and Christianity, this is what you gotta wear. This, see these jeans right there? Now, now open, open that up just a little bit, baby, so if you can see if it's a button fly or a zipper. I, I refuse, sir, because I can see where you're going with this. You're trying to trick me? I'm not trying to trick you, baby. If I was trying to trick you, we'd go out, have some drinks, and you have some uh, little pills in your drink. That's a trick. Can you just try making love to all You tried to, yes. What we ask you to do is do the following. We want you to okay. lay down with a woman. Uh, hold then, on, we get a faggot alert. Someone just said, this is so fake. Now, that's a faggot. Not a homosexual. That's a fucking faggot right there. It is. Absolutely. Right, yeah, where is Vince? Can, if the owner of this website, Vince, Vince Vaughn, if you can please show yourself and help me out because I'm being attacked by a gay. I'm not attacking, baby. I'm asking for advice. I came on Jesus Christ and I want to know what I should do about it. And you know what? You don't have the answer, do you? Well, the answer, sir, is to stop. stop what you're doing, wash the cross, 
you need to stop being gay and you need to purchase a neon Bible for 19... What you need to do, Randall, is you need to pay the price. You know that we have a song coming out on YouTube and it goes, you gotta pay the price. Mm. Pay the price all day. You got... It goes like that. It's going you know, to be on YouTube. People have paid me to, um, uh, to, to administer fellatio on me. Is that what you mean by pay the price? <laughs> Maybe not. I, I don't know. He's choking. Pardon me, I crunch myself. Don't um, crunch yourself. But you know what I do? I get duct tape, and I put it in the front of my testicles, and then I get the duct tape, duct tape and I, I lift it up towards the back of my legs to my back, and I tape them, and then I wear bikinis and stuff. That is probably the gayest thing I've ever heard. Richard, how about you? I mean, everyone does it that does wears he bikinis. Want to save his life? Isn't he worried about going to hell? You've got Negroes in the chat room, look. They're welcome here, just like everybody else is welcome, except for gays. Oh, because I, I just saw some illegal stuff in there. Oh. You know. can't say the N-word on there. What did it say? The N-word, you can't say an N-word. I'm reading the chat right now. Where have our mods gone? Nobody's policing it. It says Negroes. You can't say People Negroes. love the honey badger. You ever see the honey badger? No, I, I so, haven't. See, one's backwards. I. Oh, there's there's Joel. The honey Joel. badger don't give a shit. Joel, police it. Okay. Honey badger don't give a shit. What we want you to do is we're going to send you a care package, and okay. what it is is pay for shipping. It's it's a it's a, no. We're going to send this to you for free. Oh my God, if you sent me a package of your genitals, I bet you it would cost me a hundred bucks to get. No, what this is, it's something that Richard came up with. And it consists of a bottle of holy water and a jock. And this is I'd what we... I'd be willing to buy that. Is the jock clean or are you pre-used by Jesus Christ? It's... No, it's clean. And it's... So it's perfectly um, acceptable to also use it as a painting mask. Um, but we tried to send you this before. And what it is, is... You fill the jock with holy water, and then you put the jock on, and you wear that for a period of 24 hours. And I want you to try that a few times, and then I want you to call us back. And you I do want know I have a big one, right? Well, we'll send an XL, uh, XL jock. That may be something I meant to see. We're relating a lot better now. Now we're talking about harnesses that hold genitals. And I can relate to that. I, I just had a vision, Randall. I had a vision I of, you, did, baby. of you coming home from work. and I'm the, a dancer. Just, just, just hear me out here. The door opens and your wife, yes, I said a wife, your wife is stirring a cake. And she says, hi, Randall, how was work today? And you say it was wonderful, honey. And your children run up to you and they hug you and they go, Welcome home, Daddy. We're glad to see you. That's what it's all about. And then you settle in to watch um, television with your family. Now, how does that sound, Randall? No, that sounds like hell. It really does. I mean, I picture hell. I, I picture fire. I, I, I want to come home to my boyfriend. I says, Randall, get ready, baby, because I'm going to suck your cock like I'm mad at it. Now, that's heaven. I just, Richard, I don't effing believe what I'm hearing. I, I don't ever want to write anyone off as a lost cause. Well, you guys have a lot of work. Obviously, this is not your time to deal with real life problems. Well, I, I admit you've caught us off guard because this is our, our first broadcast on Voggen TV. No, what is it called? Voggen Live? No, it's Voggen. It's Voggen. Voggen. Yes, Voggen Live. And we're we're just we're trying to keep it together here because we like it here and we um, l do us a favor will you call us back on our next broadcast next weekend and report back on the progress you faggots I've been calling you for like a half an hour you gotta answer the phone the, the you know technology is a funny thing um, sometimes when people call phones uh, the recipient will pick it up and sometimes they fucking do well I encountered that for about a half an hour tonight 
I'm sorry, Randall, but we have right now, if you may not believe this, but we have 38 calls lined up. And All right, faggot. When you straighten yourself out, I'll give you a call back. Good night. Thanks for nothing. <laughs>